So iOS 14 brings some of the biggest changes we have seen to our home screens, all thanks to the widgets. But Apple hasn't done much to change the icons on the home screen. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your home screen from this to this. So the process is very easy and simple to do. And you don't need a computer, you don't need a jailbreak, all you need is a pre-installed shortcuts app. So if you don't have the app, install it from the app store. So open the app and click on the plus icon at the top to add a new shortcut. Click on it and then click on add action. And from here on, search for open app. So click on open app and then you have the option that says choose. So from here on, you have to choose which app you want to change the icon for. So you have your stock applications and then you have your installed applications. So for the sake of the video, let's change the icon for Spotify. So click on Spotify and then click on these three dots and a menu will pop up and in here you can make all the changes. So you can either make the icon entirely by yourself by choosing the color, the symbol, or you can choose one from your gallery. So go back, click on add to home screen, then click on the smaller icon and then click on choose. And from here on, choose any picture you want to work as an icon. So I actually made one myself. So just click on the image, adjust to the size, then click on choose. And from here on, simply name the icon Spotify or any app you're using. So click on add and it says add it to home screen. So if you go back to the home screen, the icon has been successfully added right here. Now you should know that whenever you will activate or launch the icon, it's gonna take a second to go through the shortcuts app to launch the app. So yeah, keep that in mind. And if you want to get rid of the older icon, the original Spotify or Instagram or any icon, if you wanna get rid of them, just hold the icon, click on edit home screen, click on the minus size, and then click on add to library. So the app won't be deleted. It's just gonna stay in the library and not on your home screen. So that is pretty much it. It's a very fun way to configure and customize your home screen and make it the way you want it to be. You can even choose the older iOS icons from iOS 6 just by going into Safari and looking for them. It's very simple. You can either make them yourself or you can just download any image. You can even use the Android one. So it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy. You can even use the Big Sur icons. So if you want me to provide you with an icon pack or something like that, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to know more how to make customized widgets for iOS 14, I will also link that video down in the description. Until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.